Rosario. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of my channel, my name is Karate Mario and we are currently looking at what I like to call the up and down door. Now this is quite a cool door, um, it's essentially just made out of um, double piston extenders, um, but yeah it's a cool little design, um, it's not as compact as you know I'd like it to be, there's definitely more better ways to make it more compact. Um, it is 9 by 8 by 5 um, it would be um, 7 but there's just these two blocks here so that's kind of annoying um, but yeah how this works is pretty simple we just have this toggle this, the yellow circuit is the circuit to toggle it on and off um, we have a rising edge monostable circuit which makes a one tick pulse out here um, which makes this piston spit out a redstone block that redstone block turns this on and this torch basically um, is what powers both of the circuits um, now it's on at the moment if I flick it again you'll see that the block goes up creates a one tick pulse and the redstone block is back in place. Um, the green circuit is just for linking up um, the top one with the bottom one. Um, so yeah, we just have some torches going up here. Um, this is basically the bulk of it, like the double piston extenders are quite compact. Now up at the top here we have the um, downwards facing double piston extender which is quite a simple circuit um, we just have this little thing here and then another monostable circuit here which just pulls it back at the end um, but down here um, the thing that I find hardest to do with double piston extenders is definitely upwards going ones because there's just so much to do like torch wise because you have to have a torch powering the block next to it um, in order to make it work but that also powers the original ones that were waiting to be pushed up um, so it's kind of annoying um, but yeah I can't get a very good view we have some more rising edge monostable circuits here um, which just make it a little bit quicker you could have it without them it would just be a little bit slower because I just really wanted everything to be in time um, we have this quite cool I haven't actually used this design before um, basically the dropper spits an item in here the comparator takes it out into this rising edge monostable circuit which creates a one tick pulse which allows this piston to pull the block back um, and then the hopper puts it back into the dropper so everything's reset um, but yeah let's get on to this tutorial um, if you haven't noticed already there's also some elevator designs over there um, and that is because this is um, going to be my redstone testing world and just my world for you know showcases and tutorials from now on so you're gonna see a lot more of this world um, it's pretty blank at the moment but you want to start yourself off with three blocks and you're gonna want to take it out by two either side put one block in the middle on both sides and then take it up by two here and the same on the other side um, and once you've done that you just want to fill in the ceiling uh, now you want to get yourselves some boutons and place them here and here um, get your yellow circuit um, and place them here, here, here and here with redstone and then a repeater on both sides um, the repeaters are set to one tick and then you want another repeater coming out here 
grab a sticky piston and a block of redstone, put one sticky piston down here, and yellow wool there, block up there, and let me just check, yep, you want to have a block here with redstone on top, and place whoops, your sticky piston down there with the block of redstone on there. Now coming out of here you want a redstone dust and then just a torch. Um, I'll grab a torch, plop that there. Now you want to grab yourself some green wool and place one block there with a redstone torch, another one here with another redstone torch on top of it, and one block on top of that with yet another redstone torch. Now place two blocks out like this, redstone and a repeater. So that's the top half of the connection line done, and you want to come down here and put redstone dust on top of here, place them there, redstone repeater, set it to three ticks just so that everything goes in time, um, it's just a little bit nicer to watch, and there you go, that's the green circuit done. Now for the orange circuit, and things start to get a little bit more complicated here, um, you want to place down a block here, and place a block underneath it like that with redstone on top and then a stone slab here and then you can get rid of that now on top of here you want to place a redstone repeater on two ticks I think it is yep and then place another block here and here and here get rid of that one and place more redstone here uh, it's probably wise if we actually put in our pistons here so there you go there's your two pistons facing downwards and now from here you want to place one block down there redstone on both of these and then a repeater here place another block here a torch on there a torch here redstone on top of that and then a redstone repeater. So if you look at this now, it should go down and come up. Now all that we have to do now is create the white circuit. Uh, now the white circuit is actually extremely complicated, obviously. Um, going upwards with um, double piston extenders is quite hard, um, but you want to grab yourself everything that I have in my inventory here. Um, and you're also going to need a comparator, but I'll grab that in a second. Um, just get your double piston extenders here and just get rid of them. Uh, now, you want to put a block here and that there. Um, I'm gonna pop them back on there um, and then you want to pop down your dropper here with the hopper facing into it and another dropper here and another hopper facing into that then you want to place a block here a block here and then I'm going to grab myself redstone comparator and two more redstone dust put one redstone dust in each of these dispensers and then place blocks down here with a redstone comparator here and here you want to put your sticky piston here wool sticky piston facing upwards wool and a repeater on that block there 
a block up like that, place two along here, redstone, redstone, repeater, repeater, and there you go, you should be all done. Just press this. And you can use the one on the other side too. Well, there you go. That's the up and down door. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and you can use it. It's not really functional. You can make much easier 3 by 2 doors. I just think it looks pretty cool. Um, but yes, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the other videos on my channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Karate Mario and I'm out. I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, Mario!